luckygirlblingandthings.com and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you how to make this baby bear hat. It is a quick and easy pattern tutorial that you can find on my blog and I'll put the link below so y'all can find the written pattern. I have it written in five different sizes. Today I'm going to show you how to make the preemie size and I actually had another video up for this um, bear hat but I uh, made a mistake early on which I didn't become aware of until after I had posted it. And then a couple of y'all said I was going a little fast, so I'm going to redo this video and slow down a little bit so y'all can see how y'all are doing. And if any of y'all ever have any suggestions, feel free to tell me because I still feel like I'm quite new at this. And I would like any suggestions that I can to help improve my YouTube channel. So I had no idea that it would be very that popular. I think on YouTube it's had over 14,000 views and I will keep that video up and link in the bottom of it the other video so people can still find it and put it up and on my blog I will put this new video up in place of the old one and like I said I will link the uh, I'll put the link below for the uh, pattern so y'all can see the written pattern and we'll go ahead and get started so all you're going to need is a worsted white yarn I use I love this yarn and a five millimeter or an H hook so to start we need to make a magic circle or a magic ring and I'll show you how to do that. So what I do is I take my yarn, I face the tail to my left, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around and make kind of a circle, like that. So your tail's to the left, you make a circle, and you're gonna stick your hook under it and grab that working yarn. And then you can take it and work from there. And I'll do it once more so y'all can see. So I take my tail on the left. I will wrap a little circle with your working yarn going over. Go under and grab that yarn. Pull the loop. And then you can pull that tail a little bit to close it a little. And then what I like to do is I like to make a one chain stitch to help secure it. And that's how you make a magic ring. And so the first row of this pattern is um, six half double crochet in your magic circle. So we'll work six, that's two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll just pull that straight, that tail and pull it tight and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the round. That is round one and you'll have six stitches. Round two, chain one and two half double crochet in each stitch around. I like to start in the same stitch that I just slip stitched into because it helps to me not leave a gap in it. There's two. So we'll just continue. Two half double crochet each stitch. Next stitch. Two. And since I started in that first stitch, this very last stitch right here where the chain two is coming, or the chain one, I'm sorry, is coming out of, you won't do any in it because I started that first stitch that was connected, if that makes sense. So at the end of row two, you will slip stitch into your first half double crochet of the round. And you should have 12 stitches. So round three, chain one, and we will two half double crochet in our first stitch, and half double crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat that all the way around. Two half double crochet in the next stitch, one in the next. 
and we'll just continue that all the way around Once more, one, then you get around, slip stitch into your first half double crochet of the round. At the end of row three, you should have 18 stitches. Row four, you will chain one, work two half double crochet in that first stitch and one half double crochet in the next two stitches and you'll repeat that all the way around so we'll do two first stitch and work one half double crochet in the next two stitches and just continue that around At the end of round four, you will slip stitch into that first half double crochet. Slip stitch. And at the end of round four, you should have 24 stitches. So moving on to round five. Rounds five through ten will be worked the exact same. Round five is going to be chain one half double crochet in each stitch around. Last stitch, half double crochet. You will slip stitch into your very first half double crochet. And that is round five. So you will continue round six through ten will be the exact same as round five. And then we'll I'll meet back with y'all on round eleven and show you how to finish the half. row 10 we're going to start row 11 and do row 11 we're going to chain one and we're going to back loop single crochet in each stitch around so i'm going to start in this stitch and go on the back loop only so you got the front loop and the back loop back loop only Front and the back, 
I'm going to back loop only, and that will just create a little ridge here that helps just finish off. I like doing the back lo loops for the bottoms of hats because I think it just helps put a little bit more to it. And I like the look of it. So we're going to do the back loop only all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch. All the way around here. Okay, and then we're just going to slip stitch in that first single crochet of the round. Slip stitch, and then you just cut your yarn. Let me tell. You, know, you can take it and weave in your end. And you could stop here and not put the bear ears on it and just have a little beanie. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the bear ears. So we'll move on. So to make the ears, we will need to begin with making another magic circle. And I'll do that. One. And y'all can always rewind the video to the front of it, to the beginning where I showed you how more in detail if y'all still, if y'all can't remember how. And to start, we'll do 10 double crochet in this magic circle. Two. Three. And you can tighten up this ring a little bit if you need to. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we'll just pull our string. You will slip stitch into the very first double crochet we done. So right here, the very first double crochet we made, we will slip stitch into it. We form like a little ring. So for round two, we will chain one and single crochet in nine stitches. So I'm only going to do nine out of the ten stitches I have here, because that leaving that last stitch. Well, that single crochet will kind of help make the bottom flat where we can sew it to the hat. So I'll leave that last stitch unworked. And see what I mean? You'll see, see how it's kind of flat at the bottom and how it makes it curve? And it's kind of flat, so then you have a place to sew it. So you're just going to cut it, leave a long tail to cut. So you sew it on to the hat. There we go. And then what you do is I just weave this ending on the back here. I'll weave it and knot it so it won't come undone. If you don't knot it, it'll come undone. There we go. I'll just weave it in, put it under some of these stitches. Get rid of it. And then you just repeat that and make another ear. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sew it on. So here's my hat. And for the preemie one, I do it on about this third row down. I will take the ear about the third row and stick it and you'll have your other and you can line them up and I just stitch it on here I just take it and line it up best I think and 
sew it on. See that? Last stitch. About three should do it, and then I'll just take it, pull it back down through here, and then I will just tie a knot, weave in the end, and sew on the other ear. And it'll be finished. And so that's how you do a baby bear beanie. And here's a finished one. So y'all see how both ears look. If y'all like this video, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to check out my blog for lots of other free patterns. And happy crocheting, y'all.